Hey guys, it's Honey. Uh, just want to do an update because it's been forever and a day since I did one. Um, well, a lot has changed. Uh, I had my hysterectomy back in November, um, complete hysterectomy, and I busted, my incision busted back open in about mid-November, early December, and I had to go in and be packed um, three times a week, and that went from middle of November all the way to March middle of March um, for, to heal from the inside out. What it is is some drainage got, they didn't drain, put a drain tube in, so a lot of drainage got stuck in basically my fat layer of skin and it didn't have anywhere to go so my incision busted back open for it to drain. Uh, so I had to stop exercising because I was doing Zumba there for a while trying to lose some weight and uh, that didn't work because yeah I busted back open. And uh, so I had to be packed in the middle of March. Uh, also, some things with my roommate didn't quite work out. There was a lot of extra drinking and carrying in all, carrying on and all that I didn't really care for. I mean, I don't mind you having to party, but when it comes to start being uh, every time you're off thing, or even sometimes when you have to work thing, and you're keeping me up, it just didn't work. So I put in for a transfer and I applied for a position and I got it. I'm now an admin assistant, so well, that works. I'm a glorified secretary, but it's not my dream job, but for 14 bucks an hour. And I got to move to Fort Worth. So I'm now up here in the Metroplex. I've been up here about a month. I'm still not where I'm going to be right now. This I'm shooting this at my uh, friend's house I'm staying at. My apartment comes open the 1st of September and y'all will get a YouTube view of my apartment um, which will actually, I'll actually be living more in Hirsch than Fort Worth but it's easier if I just say Fort Worth. Which up here it's been interesting since I've been up here. Uh, yesterday morning I woke up to the window in my truck being smashed out. Yay drama. Uh, I was trying to be a friend of one of my exes and listen to her after a bad breakup and her ex heard that apparently I was over there and went over there and thought I was sleeping with her or something. I don't know. And smashed my window out. Which I didn't sleep with her. Which I kind of wish I would have because at least then it would have been a little bit more worth it. But it wasn't. So anyway. Um... So this morning I got up and uh, I found a, a church over here I like that is LGBT friendly and it's kind of nice because I'm getting back into the uh, swing of things. They actually um, are fixing to start a trans guy uh, or trans people in general support group at the church. Um, it's not, it's going to meet at the church but not be affiliated. It's not sponsored by the church but the church people are in it so they're letting them meet there. I guess that's the best way to say it. I'm going to go a few times to get an idea of what it's like, and if it's decent, then I'll, uh, I'll mention it. They, uh, I got to look up some, like, one of the trans, one of the guys was, uh, is on YouTube. So, I'm going to look at that, get that going. But other than that, uh, this brings us to July. Tomorrow is July 4th, so happy birthday, America. And... Uh, I have a new job. I live in a new city. Um, fixing to have, you know, a lot more ways to meet different people, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, as far as post hysterectomy goes, I I am feeling awesome. I look like crap now because I've been riding around all morning in a three de you know, hundred degree weather with a busted out window in my truck, so the air conditioner is null and void at the moment. But, uh, you know, other than that, things are going great in my life. Um, I, I said, I moved from, you know, Podunk, small East Texas town, up to Fort Worth. I have a job that I went from like 10 bucks an hour to over 14 an hour. 
and other than that I'm just I'm facing to have my own place for the first time so I can actually get down to the core of you know some soul searching that I think we all need to do and we, we every now and then we all need to find that place that's us and uh, so I'm just enjoying some alone time right now actually tired of bad relationships and being in trauma yeah. 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 Um, I haven't been on YouTube because the adapter to my computer my dog decided to eat it for lunch one day and I finally got a new one in so yay so I hope to be making more videos and I'll definitely be making more videos once I have my own place but when you have roommates it's I like to be alone when I make these videos and not you know have distractions and different things like that especially with the trans guys type issues because I don't know it's just a lot of my friends don't understand still so it's easier for me to do it by myself where I can just talk to y'all from my heart and give y'all updates and not have to, I don't know, I'm mumbling and rambling on. That's the type day it's been. So I'm looking forward to barbecue tomorrow. Um, as far as weight loss goes, I had to totally quit working out um, until I was completely healed. And then I moved. And I'm fixing to move again. But I have found a diet called the blood type diet by Joseph Cristiano and me and my housemates are doing it and we have all lost weight pretty much without working out. I've gone from 321 and this morning I weighed 313 and that's in three weeks and that's uh, by eating by your blood type. Research it um, it's a little difficult to explain you have to actually read it but there's based on your blood type there's food that benefits you foods that are neutral that neither hurt you nor, nor help you and then foods that you should completely avoid well by mixing these ingredients of the good and neutral to make a meal and then avoiding the avoid foods of course um, I've changed the way I've eaten and it actually it's working I mean this right in here is starting to go away I actually am starting to notice I have a chin not, I mean, I still have multiple chins, but, you know, I have a jawbone. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. And, uh, no, these are not hair curls. These are mirroring. Two gauge. Yes, they hurt when I did them. Um, alright, I hope that catches everything up. I missed you guys. I'm sorry I kind of disappeared on you. But, uh. I'm back. All right. Later.